Hello, in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to import the demo data into your site when using Azure theme. And then of course, you can edit or customize it the way you want it. Here I have already installed the theme and we can preview how it's going to look when you import the data into your site. As you can see, it comes with a lot of pre made content and different elements that you can use into your project. So to begin with, first go to appearance about Eshi and click on install demo import plugin. It will redirect on to demo import page where you can choose which plugins you'd like to install. But it is recommended to leave all of them enabled and then finally click on import demo content. It will take a few minutes to complete the process depending on your site hosting and internet connection. And when finally completed, click on check out your new website. And that's how the website looks after importing demo content. It looks fine except Instagram feed, but we will fix it in a moment. In case you want to customize your menu navigation, you have to go to Menus Editor in WordPress Backend. Here you will find two different menus. One is called Main Menu, which you can edit the way you want, and this is where the menu is displayed on an actual site. Another one is called Top Menu, and that's the menu right on top of the header of the site. Next, let's see how to edit and customize the sidebars. And to do so in WordPress dashboard, we need to go to Widgets. And here you will find all the registered sidebars and the widgets that are already inserted. Let's check this alternative sidebar, for example. If you click on this hamburger icon, it will slide into the sidebar from the left. And there's also some widgets that are displayed in footer. Let's quickly check them out again. Of course, you can completely customize it according to your needs. Keep in mind that if you prefer the old classic widget editor, you can click on this blue button that says Install Now, and we'll quickly install the classic widget editor for you. Don't forget to activate the plugin. And now, if you go to Widgets section, in WordPress dashboard, you can see that new widgets editor is replaced with classic one. But good news, all the sidebars and widgets are still the same. When using Azure theme, you can customize all the sections and elements of your site by using WordPress Customizer. So click on Customize, and from here you can control almost every visual part of the entire site. For example, change the color schemes, choose different layouts, upload new header images, and the great thing is that to make using Customizer easier, all the settings also come with dedicated video tutorials. All right, as I've promised, it's time to see how to fix the Instagram feed. And to do so, we need to go to the dashboard again. Click on Instagram feed. It will take us to the new page. And from here, we can connect our WordPress site to the Instagram account. Click on Add New. Next, Add Source. Wait for a couple of seconds. And finally, click on Login with Instagram. Now, I'm already signed in my Instagram account, so I can simply click on Allow. It will redirect you into the WordPress dashboard where you have to select the name of the Instagram account. In my case, it is InfoWP. Click on Next and that's it. Our site and Instagram account are now connected. Click on Save. Let's go to the site. First, refresh the page. Scroll down a bit and here it is. As you can see, Instagram feed works just fine. But we can also customize the way it is displayed. So let's go back to the dashboard. And in Customize section, we can change a few things. For example, disable header. And maybe we should also disable Load More button. Quickly click on Save. Refresh the page again. And as you can see, header and Load More button are not displayed anymore. If you want to embed your Instagram feed in any other place of your site, you can click on Embed, copy the shortcode, go back to the widgets, and place your shortcode into any other sidebars of your site, just like it is in Right Sidebar. Maybe you want to put it in Footer, for example. On your Azure Themes About page, you will find all the available video tutorials. Also, you will find the list of useful plugins. There's also helpful links to get support from our team. And finally, you can compare the free and pro versions. As you can see, the pro version comes with tons of great additional features. I think that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and in case of any questions, please contact our support team.